so here's the recycled firefighter 24 hour backpack in tactical gray i watched a few videos on youtube probably saw 20 30 backpacks probably 25 and this is one that i seem to like the most um, i was happy with the pocket configurations i was happy with the size for my need i kind of liked what the company was about and you know I just like the way it looks. Um, I didn't really care for the other colors. I'm not the biggest fan of the gray, but it does kind of match the mechanic shirts that I wear. So, yeah. Here's the backpack itself. There is a laptop sleeve there on the back. And then what you see on the front. So, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so, you've seen the backpack. There is a link in the description that can take you to the product page. It shows you a little more about it. Not an affiliate link or anything. So let's dive into the backpack. In that front pocket, I just keep um, some rope and I just realized this rope's kind of yellowish green. So I'm sorry if it doesn't do well with the, the green screen. It probably looks like the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've just got it on this little, you know, doodad that I bought on Amazon. It's got a place for a mini Bic. It's got the little cutter. Uh, this is mostly marketed for like paracord, but that's not the cord I'm using. I just bought some, you know, it's not plumber's line, but it's like plumber's line. There's 50, 75 feet on that. And then I have the rest of the roll in the bag. This is just nice because if I ever needed to like hand it to somebody, I can. Um, yeah. So let me get that back in the pocket. It fits nicely in one of the pockets. So in the other one, I just keep a bunch of cables. I have um, USB-C to lightning. I have USB-C to USB-C. I have another USB-C to USB-C. And then I have a USB-A to USB-C adapter. That lets me charge most phones and stuff. I do have a battery in here, which we will get to. That's all that I keep in that main pocket for now. Moving on to, or to the front pocket, sorry. Moving on to the main compartment. This does zip all the way down and open up, which is kind of nice. I don't usually do that. But we've got four glow sticks in there. Um, I keep a hand mic for my HT. This is the Bridgecom Systems one for the Initones. This thing is great. We used this, my wife and I used this on um, Halloween Patrol for Aries the other day in the car. And at least in a car, this thing puts out a lot of volume. With the HT, it may be a fifth of the volume setting. This thing is a little too loud in a confined space. Outside, that's something you're going to want. It's, it's really a nice little microphone. It is kind of small, but it's got a satisfying click. Uh, for my big bear paws, it's kind of hard to, to manipulate. When you go to try to use the clip, because I was just wearing it on my shirt pocket, I kept key in the mic so I had to like be very deliberate and it was kind of annoying but other than that love this mic I don't really know how well I sound but no one's ever complained but everyone else sounds wonderful on it 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 puts out it's a dense heavy little microphone well made good job Bridgecom um, I keep a trauma pack in here this just has a pressured trauma dressing and then a SWAT tourniquet some bandages latex gloves um, trauma response instructions and like a uh, permanent marker to you know write down the time. Don't think I'll ever need this, but I've got room for it in there, and I'd rather have it than not have it and need it. Got a simple little uh, family first aid kit in here, just some you know bandages and stuff. You're working with wire, you're cutting stuff. You know it's nice to have some band aids. You've also got you know, some tape, medical tape, some safety pins, a splinter pick, you know, the normal stuff you'd find in a little first aid kit. Here I just have a um, ladder line J pull. Um, this is one of the ones from uh, November 9 Tango Alpha X ray. You can go to his website at n9taxlabs.com it's just a vhf slim jim it kind of works for 70 centimeters decent enough but mostly it's for two meter 
it 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 works great. I used to use this here at the house. Um, I replaced it with an Ed Fong because the Ed Fong does a little bit better if I have it hung in the window in my office because we're a brick house and I don't want to run um, coax through the, the brick and stuff because it's not great for the brick, not great for the mortar and probably going to sell this house at some point. So I don't want to like damage the brick. So I replaced the, this in my office with the Ed Fong. I mean, this works great. Uh, throw it up a tree with that line. I have one of those um, Arbor little pouch weighted pouches coming so I can throw stuff better. My current situation was I was just using some metal washers tied around the string and then, you know, but those little Arbor pouches work great. So that's in there. I've not actually deployed this in the field yet, but, you know, I've got it all set up already. So it's got a BNC connector on it, but it's also got uh sma mail because originally this was for my yezus but my daily carry is not a yezu anymore but i do have a bnc connector in here that i keep just in this backpack that will work with that um then i have i'm gonna take it out of the bag because again green screen and it's a green bag and i really didn't think this out very well <laughs> So this is one of those RB 42 and a half inch uh, antennas. It's got an SMA, SMA female, so it hooks up to my daily carry radio. Um, you may have seen these. Uh, Josh over on Ham Radio 2.0. Is Josh Ham Radio 2.0 or is he the other one? I always mix those two channels names up, but Josh has shown this on his, his YouTube. You know, it gets 42 and a half inches long. Um, yeah, it looks kind of goofy, especially on an HT. I can't even get it in frame here. You put it behind me. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty big and it's goofy. But I have found that with this antenna, let me not break stuff, my wife will kill me. I have found with this thing that it fits nicely in the backpack. But the antenna that I'm going to show you next, this will sometimes let me get repeaters that are a little farther away, like far enough away that I don't actually have any use for them because like the ones in Bloomington, which is an hour and a half as the crow flies from me, hour, hour and a half, it's, it's not a repeater I use too much. Even in my car, I can only hit it if I go to town and sit on the hill and then I'm really staticky. But that will actually let me hit it sometimes, which is pretty impressive. Normally what I'll use though on that radio is this. It's just one of the smiley antennas for two meter. Again, SMA female, you know. So if you use it like this, it performs better than a rubber duck, right? But again, this is um, actually a little longer than that other one. Yeah. Sorry, not real easy to get in there. Um, yeah, I love this thing. It does, it is a little heavy, maybe a little heavier than the plastic one, I'm not sure. It definitely feels that way. And it definitely feels a little wobbly. But like I said, even like that, it's performing better than the standard rubber duck. Um, yeah, I love this thing. It'll let me hit repeaters that I can't even hit from home with that Ed Fong in the window. If I just go outside and hold it up about head level, hold the HTF at about head level and have the antenna full layout, love this thing. Really great. This is just the super stick from Smiley Antenna in two meter. It does okay on 70 centimeter, but it shines on two meter. That is my preferred antenna. I also do keep the rubber duck in here for Stuff around here, that's nice, my case just fell apart. Uh, you know, the high gain antenna, it works all right. It lets me hit the repeater I need to. So sometimes I'll just use that because it's, it's nowhere near as heavy and it's not as long. And If it works, why not? You're usually not sweating some stuff, but I like to have options. I have an extra battery for my HT. I have a couple of these koala cloth uh, cloths for cleaning my glasses. There's that uh, BNC connector to what SMA uh, mail so I can 
quickly switch to some of these antennas and stuff or any other antenna people might have set up. Let me put this back on my HT here. Okay, there we go. So I got my HT. Uh, I just have this like, I want to say it's a cheap case, but it was like 26 bucks or 27 bucks or something. But it's nice. Keeps it from getting scratched up in the bag, even though it's in its own pocket. It just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. And it has a much sturdier clip than the ones that come with the uh, Anytone batteries. Like they're just plastic and they just screw on. But this metal thing is pretty chunky and I like it. So let's go ahead and take the HT out of here. Let me see that rubber duck again. So I originally bought this Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus as purely a DMR radio for the house. And then I enjoyed it so much. Whoops. The adapter came out of the BNC connector the other night. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back in there. Anyway, like I was saying, I bought this radio. Just using DMR. I have a DMR hotspot in the other room. And, you know, if you're not familiar with DMR, there's some great videos out there. Um... I'm the least or the last person you want to do one. So basically DMR, you take the digital radio signal and you can tunnel it over the internet on a hotspot, which is on like a Raspberry Pi or a similar device. The one I have is on an RPi Zero. It's in my office. I've got it set up for, you know, a ton of things. Um, and then on here, I've got my code plug, which has pretty much anything I'd be interested in listening to. And that's what I bought this radio for. I quickly realized that I love this radio more than I did the uh, Yezu 60s that I bought my wife and I when we first got our licenses last year. Like, everything about it's just nice. Yeah, it's got like the color screen and stuff, which kind of lures you in. But the menu's are much more intuitive. They're not as confusing as the Yezu. Um, I like the software a little bit better for programming it than the Yezu. It's just, it's, it's, it's easier to get in there and like change all the settings and stuff. And you know, it's got more buttons that you can program for quick access things. Like I use the top button to change my power and I can see my voltage over here on one of the side buttons. Um, so I decided to start using this as my daily carry. Plus it does uh, APRS and has GPS. I do do Skywarn. So if I ever wanted to give my location for Skywarn, I could do that. If anybody, you know, had those capabilities, which you should. So I replaced the house version with the, um, 868 because it doesn't have the GPS and stuff. And now it's the one that just basically hangs out in my office. So when this first comes on, I have all of my Aries frequencies, and which is mostly the local repeaters and then some simplex per our Aries uh, plan, emergency communications plan. Those are on the first zone. And then I have all of my DMR zones. So let's go ahead and see if we can hear anybody on USA. Kilo Delta 9, Tango Whiskey Charlie. 9, Tango Whiskey Charlie. So see, there we go. That was me coming back on the repeater. Or I'm the, on the, the DMR Sky USA. Here we go, there's somebody. Anyway, so I bought this for the DMR and I loved it. So it's my daily carry. It's in here. We'll go ahead and turn that off so we don't get anybody squawking at us. What else do we have in here? There's more of that cord, like I said. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, at some point I will add a laptop in here. I do have a dongle for doing um, Winlink. Uh, I plan to experiment with that with the Baofeng. I don't think there's anyone even remotely near me doing Winlink on two meter, but I haven't dipped my toe into HF yet, so when I do, then I'll obviously do that. So the plan is I'll put that in here at some point. I may throw a Baofang in here 
purely for the Winlink. Oh, I do have some other things in here. So I've got the Anytone uh, car charger here, in case I want to charge in the car. <clears throat> here I've got an Anytone desktop charger. I mean, I could switch these cables over, but I've got the room, so why not? In case I'm deployed somewhere and I have a power outlet, I do have my, uh, you know, solar generator battery that I could take with me if I was going to deploy somewhere and wanted extra power. I keep an extra pair of glasses. They're just cheapo zinnies without the blue blocking and stuff to save money. Um, here I do have an Anchor Power Core 3. And there's a another USB-C cable in with it so I can charge it if, again, I have power. It's got the wireless power delivery so I can charge my iPhone on top of it or, you know, any Android phones that offer that capability. I think this is 10,000 milliamp hours, so it's a nice little bit of battery for phones. Um, I do have a USB cable to charge the... Uh, any tone base from that if I absolutely had to. I could also use that on the Balfang when I throw a Balfang in here because the bases will use the same USB cable. And yeah, that's really about it. There are some other things I want to get in here and I may downsize some things. Like I could get rid of one of those bases and just keep the two power cords. I don't know if I really need that RB antenna. It looks stupid. It looks LARPer, but like I said, when I tested it most recently, I was able to hit another repeater that I could not with the uh, smiley. So it might be worth it, might not. I'm not sure. I just wanted to give it a try after seeing Josh try it. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's mostly just deciding on what Windows laptop I want to put in here for logging, for you know taking notes in a deployment, for whatever. There's that 12 volt little crummy one that Josh has shown on his channel a bunch of times. I'm kind of on the fence about that thing. It's no longer $69 or whatever it was. It's now like a hundred bucks and people have kind of figured it out. But I may get like a Microsoft Surface Go or whatever for this at some point. I'm trying to hold off on spending any more money because like this backpack was 200 bucks and I did buy the second Anytone so I could take this one. I bought a few of these antennas just for this backpack and stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's my daily carry backpack. I love this backpack. It's very well made. Uh, everything about it says solid. It's got decent padding in the straps. They feel really nice. I usually just use the one because about the only time I leave the house is to go to church or to go to an Aries meeting or something. Uh, I don't take it when we go to the grocery. I keep a Yezu in the car, just a HT with a... Um, 12 volt plug for it and I keep the car antenna in there all the time I don't have a mobile radio mounted in the car because there's just no room in my Impala like my legs barely fit in there myself same with my wife in the passenger seat so I just don't have one in there so I don't really carry this too much but the plan is when the weather gets nicer in the spring that I will take this with us a lot when we go places instead of having to lug you know a bootleg Pelican case an Apache case or the ammo can with the hammo can radio uh, I do have that Yezu FT290, um, 290, whatever, that I have in a Pelican case, and then I have another uh, LiPo in a Pelican case. You know, I can carry all that stuff, but for a lot of things, this will do fine. Around anywhere we go, I can hit the repeater that we use for Aries off of uh, the second lowest setting pretty much everywhere. I can go up to the, I think, 8 watts this will do on the turbo setting if I absolutely had to. But you know, get an antenna up. I'm good pretty much anywhere we go. Thanks for stopping by. I will have links to all of this stuff in the comments. Um, most of them won't be affiliate. If it isn't an Amazon link, it is an affiliate link. There is the possibility that I will get a small percentage of what you spend. It will not cost you anything more. If you don't want to click on those links, just Google this stuff. I'll have the names in front of the links. I don't really care about that. If you want to support me, that's one way to support me. You can do my Patreon. I will revisit this backpack in the future probably to see how it wears. Um, so far, I've been throwing it in the back seat and stuff, and it's been sitting on my office floor for a few weeks, and it looks brand new other than, you know, some fuzz from the floor. 
yeah sorry i ramble a lot this is just what you get i'm not going to edit this because then it feels too overproduced um thank you for stopping by i hope you have a good week